my favorite episode of Ed, Ed and Eddie is um, Hand Me Down Ed slash Run For Your Ed. First of all, on Hand Me Down Ed, a mysterious boomerang is passed down from one kid to another, making everyone act all loopy. Yeah, it's just funny because you get to see these characters in just completely different and weird ways. You see Ed to be very, very smart. You see Eddie to be, um, wearing drag. Uh, and you see Double D to, um, be kind of a nudist. Um, okay. You also get to see Jimmy be tough. Rolf be a yodeler. And we get to see Sarah be a loving and actually well-mannered sister. Creepy. But anyway, it's just an off-the-wall episode. And it's got that traditional Ed, Ed, and Eddie ending of, um... The three edge just trapped in, in a weird way. <laughs> it's 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 a classic. I, I mean, it's 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 brilliant. Okay, and and then the other part of the episode is um, run for your head. Yes, run for your head. Um, basically, the Kanker sisters have lost a family heirloom, which has mysteriously appeared on Ed's finger. So the Kankers go through the neighborhood and tearing it up to find this uh, heirloom. And uh, meanwhile, the Edge try to get it off Ed's finger without knowing it's the Kankers. And the Kankers are, like, just quite literally ripping the neighborhood up. Like, like they're just, like, tearing out fence posts, like, flipping over houses. They are just going crazy. And it's just so funny because, like, you get to see how much of a force the Kankers really are. And uh, meanwhile, the Eds are completely oblivious until the end of the episode. It's just hilarious how Double D reacts when he finds out the Kankers are at the door. He opens the door. He sees them really angry. He closes the door. He puts the little lock on the door. And then he waits like two seconds. And then he starts freaking out. And then they just break through the door easily. And in the end, it turns out the Kanker system sisters don't actually do anything. They just get the thing off of Ed's finger. And the Eds seemingly uh, come out of this scaveless, or scaveless, or unscathed, that's the word. Uh, except for the fact that Eddie's finger is caught in a faucet, and Ed's de Ed decides to go get the cankers to help. Yes. Another traditional Ed, Ed, and Eddie ending. Well, it, it, it's, it's a brilliant episode, and it happened before the whole um, season five, back in school, season six, winter theme. This was one, this is one of the last episodes that of the kind of what I consider the original series. Not that the newer series is bad, I just consider it a separate thing, because it's, you know, they're in summer, and it, it's just different. Well, I'm Pie Guy Rules. Good night, everybody.